A couple of weeks ago, I received an email from a person I'm collaborating on a project with that wasn't a normal text-based email. She sent me a video message in the email, embedded in the email. And I was struck by just how engaging and relevant receiving communication in this form was. It was so much richer than just receiving a text-based email, so much more nuance in the message. And it got me thinking and wondering why I don't use video email more. I think it's something that I should do. After all, I am a video guy. So I looked around and there are quite a few tools that I was aware of that will allow us to create video emails, some paid, some free, and they're all sort of okay. But I was thinking, oh, this is a great DIY project. Let's build our own video email system that we can rely on, that we can trust, that we're comfortable with. So that's what we're going to do today. DIY video email on Dottotech. Dotto here. How the heck are you doing this fine day? At Dotto Tech, we make technology easy so you can do more. Now today's topic is do-it-yourself video email. But to be fair, there are some very good solutions out there that you can use that are pre-built in order to send video and create video email. Uh, on the paid side, there's a very popular service called Bonbon, bon, which is a nice and sophisticated email and marketing tool that will allow you to really uh, tie into a lot of the power of video email. And on the free side, Vidyard has a service that allows you to record your screen and video and send them as emails. But as much as I like both of these services, I also think this is something that we can do ourselves. We have all of the tools we need to create and send video email. So let's start first of all with the one basic premise. One thing that you need to understand about creating and sending video email is you don't want to actually send an email attachment, a video attachment to somebody in email. You don't want to send a large file and there's all sorts of virus concerns and other things that people might be concerned with. So instead, you want to create a video that you can send to somebody that is basically hosted on an online server of some type. And we've got lots of different options there, and I'll go over some of the basic ideas of that a little bit later in the video. But then all you send them in your email is a link that allows them to play it directly from within the email. And that's the simplicity of video email. Now, you also don't have to worry about necessarily having your face on screen all the time. A lot of people find that a little bit, uh, a little bit intimidating, and I understand that. I am not always camera ready and composed as I am right now. So I'll show you as well how we can just use screencasting in order to create the video message to send it. But the bottom line is, when we create a video email, we get to communicate with whoever we're communicating with far more elegantly, with, with far more, it's, it, it's a far richer environment. They can hear our voice. If you do have your face on screen, they can see your expression. You can add extra nuance to your communication far more elegantly. And I believe that people are, we were pretty much overwhelmed with the amount of email we get now. So when people realize that you've gone that extra mile to create and craft a message in video as opposed to just writing out a message, I think that carries a lot of weight as well. So let's go through the different pieces of how you might compose and create a do-it-yourself system. So the first thing we need to do is we need to be able to record our videos. Now that includes either having a webcam as we do now, you need a microphone of some sort for that, and you need a piece of software to allow you to record the video. Now, believe it or not, I think that the easiest uh, piece of software to use, certainly if you're on a Mac, is QuickTime. We can use the QuickTime uh, app to record a screen. Now, let me show you how we do that. I'm gonna launch QuickTime here right now, and I'm gonna start to create. I'm just gonna walk through the kind of step-by-step -step process of creating a video email. So, I've got QuickTime Player launched. Now, I could record my video, my face on screen, and send that as a video email. Uh, but I think a lot of people are gonna prefer not to have their face on screen. So instead I'm gonna show you a kind of a technique that I came up with to create what I think is a very relevant video email without having your face on screen. And to do that, go into your email software, I'm here in Gmail, and start to compose a new email. Now you'll ultimately probably use this email actually to send the email. It's, I know it's realized it's kind of meta, but the, follow me through the process. So I'm gonna open and compose a new message and it's gonna, I'm gonna, you're gonna say uh, important. And as I'm preparing to record a video message, 
one of the things you have to do is you shouldn't just hit record and go. You should kind of have an outline of what you're creating, not really a script, but in order to prevent rambling, it's a good idea if you've at least jotted down or made note of the things that you want to communicate in your email. So, so I'm going to put point one, one, two, and three in, in my email. So you can imagine that I've made all of the points ready to go. Now, we are actually going to record as a screencast this email message, which we're later going to send. So what I want to do now is I want to create something a little bit more interesting than just the text that I've put on the screen. So I'm going to use Bitmoji. Now I'll put a link in the description below to a video we did on how to use Bitmoji, but you can install it in your browser and it gives you these kind of cool little avatars of yourself. So I'm just going to choose this one here. I'm going to copy that and I'm going to put it in so that when they're looking at the screen later on, when I record this video, they've got me saying hi to them. It's me, but it's not me in video. I just think it adds a little bit of, a little bit of cuteness and a little bit of personal touch to our video email. Now we've got the message ready to go and it's time to do the technical side of recording. So I have QuickTime loaded. So let me just go to my QuickTime player and in QuickTime, what you can do is you choose new screen recording. Now that will do as basically a screencast. It'll record the screen that we are, whatever area of the screen that we determine that we want to record. Now you can use other tools for this. Uh, I would, I typically probably wouldn't use QuickTime myself because I use ScreenFlow. It's what I'm using to record this video that you're seeing right now. You can use Camtasia, you can use Snagit. There's a whole variety of different tools that you can use to capture the screen and audio and save it as a video file at the end. Uh, but if you are gonna use QuickTime, you have to make sure that you click on this drop down and make sure that you don't have none selected for the microphone, but you've selected the microphone input that you want to use for that video. Once you've done that, we can just click on the record button. Then it asks me to marquee the area that I want to record and it'll start recording. I click start recording. And now I'm recording a message that I can save as a video file and I can send a link to that video file to the person that I'm talking to. So I can say, hi, friend, I wanted to talk to you about these three points uh, and I didn't want to send you a, a text email because I wanted it to be more relevant, more engaging, more entertaining, and also to let you know that I really value our relationship and I'm willing to go through this extra little effort to create a custom video for you. And we are done. We click stop record. And now we've got this recording ready to go. And let's have a listen. I'm recording a message that I can save as a video file. That's what they're going to see when they receive it. Now we could edit this if we wanted to use it in a video editor. You can do other things to the video if you choose. But for now, we are just going to save this video because next thing that we have to do, and I'm going to save this as video email, and I'm going to save it to my desktop so we can find it easily. And there it is. It's now saved as a video file to my desktop. Now, here's the next stage. If you are using some services, uh, for any of the email services that I was showing you about the video email services, they will store these videos for you on their servers and give you a link that you can use to embed in your email to send to your to whoever it is you're, you're, you're reaching out to. We don't have that, so we have to recreate that video mail server. So we can use a variety of different tools. You could use Dropbox for it. If you're recording this in a tool like Snagit, you can use their online services to store it. But I'm going to just use the simplest service possible. I'm going to store this in Dropbox. I'm going to open my Dropbox folder. I'm going to open my Dropbox folder and I am going to put this video in my temporary folder right here. I've got a little temporary file here that I store temporary things in. I'm just going to drop my video in that and let it start to sync and let it copy the video to Dropbox. And you can see here the icons telling me that it's copied. Now it's, it's synced to Dropbox. So it's ready to go. Now people can play it back from my Dropbox account. All I have to do is right click on the video in Dropbox. I have to copy the Dropbox link right there. 
And here in the email that I'm about to send to whoever I'm going to send it to, I can add this. Oh, that's the video I'm trying to click on. <laughs> it looks so real. Here in the video, I'm going to say, check this out. I recorded a video for you. See, I'm using the same email. And there's the video. So then when we go to send this, when they click on this link, let's open it in a new browser window. This is what they will see. I'm recording a message that I can save as a video file and I can send a link to that video file. Now you can make this as elaborate as you want. You could have your face on screen, you could add a music background, you could do all sorts of things in order to make this video that much more rich and, and full featured. But the bottom line is, you've got the tools already on your computer to be able to send video email. Now, not for every single email that you're going to send, but when you're trying to show that little extra bit of concern, when you're trying to show that little, uh, that you, the, that the, the, the relationship with the person on the other end means something to you, this is a terrific way to honor that relationship and give them a far more enjoyable and enlightening communication than one that you've just simply written out and sent by traditional email. All of the tools you have in place, you've got the skills, or you have the skills now. I hope that you decide to try out a do-it-yourself video email system. Now, I would love to hear if you are using video email or if I've inspired you to try and use it and then what your experiences are with sending and receiving video email. The tools that I showed you are just one selection of tools that we can use to create these video emails. You can mix and match your own tools and use your favorite video recording and your favorite online storage tools. You can create this in a variety of different ways and I want to know how you do it. So let me know in the comments below. Now, if you found this video to be useful, I have a couple of favors to ask. The first is please share it with your friends so that they can also learn how to send and receive video email. If you have not yet subscribed to Dottotech, I encourage you to subscribe to our channel and make sure you ring that notification bell so that you hear when we upload new videos here at Dottotech. Until next time, I'm Steve Dotto. Have fun storming a castle.